happened to be at Comic Con for the very first time as an observer and as a learner. Here is a little chronicle of that. So none of them are mythology related. If they are mythology related, it's a very hint of that. It's not the it's not the whole story. So like uh, you will see, uh, you will see the caravan. It is about Indian vampires and mythological creatures with in modern perspective. Vampires, werewolves, and stuff like that. But a very Indian desi version of that. We have our own spin on it. We call them Pisach and Rakshas and stuff like that. And we have our Tarana Tantric, who is like a psychic detective. And uh, we have got many varieties. Inspirations, lots of movies, comic books, books. Okay. Mostly pop culture. Uh, not pop culture, literature also, and yeah. uh, everything. Like Devi Chaudhary is like an adaptation of a very famous Bengali novel. It's like a classic literature. So, but we have made a modern adaptation of that. So it's like mixed everything. Actually, I am also trying to make a graphic novel myself. So, okay. what advice would you give to a beginner like me? Uh, first of all, uh, you will have to be very clear what you want to do. What sort of story you want to perceive, and uh, the biggest thing will be finding a publisher and a financier to you know like support your graphic novel and you know like putting it out in the market. So this is our latest series. It is called Raksha. It is our flagship title right now. It is an Indian vigilante superhero. Uh, it is the story of an ex-army officer uh, who loses a limb in his last mission and then comes back to live you know like in a civilian life in Delhi. And then what happens? There is a tragedy. That actually uh, forces him almost to become a superhero vigilante. Uh, I'm Anirudh Chakravarti. I'm the founder for Chariot Comics. Uh, it, it's sort of, I would say, it's a mix between the American and the manga esque style. That's how my art, artist likes to draw. So a little bit of manga, anime-like influences mixed with a uh, very American. Uh, layout and so just somewhere in the middle I think. So we started in 2012, uh, I think at the second uh, Comic Con which happened in Delhi. So we've been doing this for a couple of years now. So uh, Rika was like the first title we came up with, we were coming out with singles then and uh, then we sort of went into the graphic novel format and this one is more of how do I put it, it's, it's sort of like the, it starts off as Captain America and the Howling Commandos in an Indianized version and then it sort of starts as a procedural mission driven thing and then it goes on to a different tangent which you gotta read and find out and we've come out with another volume for that and to continue that we also have uh, Damned which is the new title we've launched this time around this is in the same universe and it's more into the action adventure, more Doctor Strange constantly in space. Oh, yeah. We've done zombies as well, I don't have a copy but we uh, we did a tie up with uh, Luke Kenny, the actor from Rock On. Uh, he had a movie, independent movie which is out called Rise of the Zombie and we also did a two part prequel to that. I think I have a, yeah, that's like a preview cover for it. I mean, while I said I started in 2012, I actually, the first draft of Rika was made in 2009. So there, were, there are hits and there are misses and then you try and see if you can make it better. Uh, more than anything else, uh, after you practice, have a pool of people who will give you the right kind of feedback. It's just don't be in an echo chamber where people don't tell you what's wrong with it. I know it hurts the first time around when someone says, well, it's terrible, uh, but you gotta know it's terrible to you know, figure out how to make it better. That's one. Like I said, practice this and go out there and see if you can self-publish first actually. Because then you know exactly what it takes to actually come out with a comic. We've been doing this for four years. It's been difficult a lot of times, but it's been very good sometimes as well. Yeah, this, if you're a pure web comic person, let's say like an XK, XKCD or uh, a Cyanide and Happiness or even a Notemail, right? Those are designed to be read on the web. Sure, there are uh, printed versions of that, but for me, if you're looking at something like a Persepolis or even a DC Superman, I don't mind adopting the digital platform, but if I like something, I want to keep it in print as a collector. So. And so, for someone who's starting out, I think start off as a webcomic, see what the response is, because it's the best way of figuring out what the audience likes, what it doesn't like, then you tweak accordingly, and then maybe go for a print run, because the revenue is going to come in print in India. What is next that is coming out? That, but from our side, we have Aisha, which is a new title, which we're going to look to launch next year and a follow up to our flagship series Rika as well because I want to end that trilogy at some point so that's what I'm looking at.
my side. It's, and Akshay's also got a huge uh, lineup coming up next year, so he will tell you a lot more about that. Because uh, the difference between me, me and what Akshay does is Akshay does a lot of uh, a wide variety of things. He looks at a lot of sci-fi humor and uh, you know some uh, non-superhero stuff as well. I love reading like more independent stories. Like this. I love superheroes. I've grown up reading them, but I like to have. Uh, something more, some more variety like Image Comics. The last five years has been doing things like Sex Pistols, like Lazarus, you know, which is just um, good science fiction, good fantasy. It's concepts that don't just get stuck on it being a superhero alone. Um, Mark Wade did books like Irredeemable and Corruptible at Boom Studio, which were technically about superheroes, but the way he did it was completely different. And I like that. I enjoy you know, the concepts more than just it has to be a superhero. You can have a wonderful concept, both in a superhero comic and otherwise. I, like for me, the concept is good. We I mean, didn't start off as a writing team or a creative team. He was a friend of mine, we were sitting and chatting, and we just decided that sense of humor, we had a damn good uh, connect. And so now we're three issues into a new comic series. Right? But in a comic, you can tell the most fantastic, amazing story with just time and effort. You can be a guy who's sitting in your house with a pencil and paper. You could just have toilet paper and charcoal and you could draw all the color. You could have the most high-end equipment, but it's just a way to express yourself. It can be something that to you is the most important thing in the world. It doesn't have to be to everyone else, but to you it is and you just want to get it out. There are some who love to create characters. At the same time, there are some who get to be that character. What is so fascinating about cosplay? I don't know, it came naturally. <laughs> and did you design your costume? No, I got it online. Yes, I do design my costume, but this costume, you know, you can make it. You you okay. can, but you need lots so, of effort. If you love a character, go for it. Don't be ashamed like, oh, I'm like too thick, I'm too short or stuff. If you love something, you should definitely do it. No, you know, uh, first, even first when I started cosplaying, I was really shy. But when you come to co Comic Con, you know, people they really appreciate you. So once you just come cosplay, even if in first trial it's not perfect costume, you know. But once you come, just once you come and like then and the fever goes on. So you came here last year as well? Yeah, last year my costume so, was terrible. Uh, so. I mean, overall cosplayers uh, you have seen here, so uh, do you think it has improved? Yeah, it year. has definitely improved. Like me, I have improved from last year. Last year my costume was really simple, so I decided that next year I should do something really good. So. Thank <laughs> you.